advantage when he gets to that very difficult part because as up to this moment he is putting a, a huge performance. So Sky, Sky on the front, it's Kenyuk who's uh, been amazing today. I guess he's got to be right now because they've, uh, they've had their problems. Dagnan has just had a front puncture. Chris Froome relying on his team and uh, well, is he diminished? Doesn't look like it. Contador just behind him, bouncing with uh, the red leader's jersey. Two riders further back, you see Rodriguez. Perito is there wearing the combined white jersey. And then comes Alejandro Valverde in the blue polka dots. And still they put the hurt on. This is uh, sacrifice, one after the other after the other. Working for Chris Froome. And soon he's going to have to work himself, Sean. Well, he still has got a, I mean, a man there in reserve, sorry, with Mikel Nieve, the Spanish rider, and uh, you know, he is a real good climber, and uh, he's performing well in this, well, for the last number of days, he has been there in the very final. Uh, we can also see uh, Tinkoff Saxo Contador, he has got the Uses Hernandez also with him. Valverde, I'm not sure if you have any teammates left, so it's going to be an interesting one, because a teammate at this time can be of big value. Alessandro De Marchi, his gap is starting to ebb, and this is the main zone of hurt. It's where the action's going to be, the last five kilometres, and suddenly the road is kicking up. Eight and a half percent as he sails through here. That's not nice, and it's not nice for anybody, but at least those behind him have got help. How much, though, is the answer? Kenyuk has done his job. The British champion just to the side of the road. There is Bargui, number treble one, waiting for it. That's uh, Damiana Caruso from Camondale, a teammate of Demarque, who's up the road. Minute and 17, and uh, to be honest, that gap is starting to close now with 4.8 to go. Oh, and he picks it up yet again. Just watch that clock, and watch these guys as well. Froome just adjusts his radio. Sometimes he'll, he'll just pop it out there on the 8% section that uh, uh, Demarque had been through a little few moments ago and um, some of those who've been involved now no longer I'm afraid and uh, well the attrition rate is starting to happen courtesy of that pace and uh, when you've got names like Robert Jacink that are being hurt on this kind of climb you appreciate what's being put in here by Sky. Trouble is there's some passengers in this little Sky train at the moment and they're all the big names, Sean. Sure. Yes, well for the moment and we can see it's the uh, the Spanish rider Miguel Neve who's taking it up and uh, he's caused a lot of problems. We see uh, John Paul Caruso there having a difficulty. Uh, the Marquis... Uh, Damiano Caruso as well from the Cannondale team. We could see Luis Angel Mete also in difficulty, so uh, it is causing problems. And if he can continue on this place, pace as we get into the steeper section on the climb, there will be a lot more who will start losing contact. Certainly, well, minute and six now, and um, well, I had a lot of belief, but um, uh, it's starting to ebb unless they start looking at each other. 4.4 kilometres. Um, it won't be long before they're actually within view. This is uh, Wout Powell's that's just about to be reabsorbed, and once they go past him, there is no other rider uh, between the Sky team that are pushing on right now with uh, Chris Froome there, uh, and indeed our leader on today's stage, Alessandro De Marchi. 4.3 kilometres to go. It's a whole world of hurt. They welcome this, Sean. It's how they earn their living. Yes, so well, it's... Uh which is all about, and uh, we can see with uh, Sky, uh, they're uh, really uh, walking to a tactic today, and it's going to be an interesting one now, at what point uh, will Nieve have to uh, pull off uh, when he's done his job, and then who will go on the attack, will Chris Froome take it up immediately, or will he wait for some of the other big favourites, but we can see this group is just getting smaller by the metre. It's quite remarkable who's here. Um, Danny Navarro, the local man from Cofidis, look at the riders in front of him. Aru, Valverde, Rodriguez, Contador, Froome. He's in very elevated company. Sammy Sanchez has managed to get back on. That is Dan Martin. And uh, Ejidal has a look and as if to say, how you doing, mate? No answer. Nobody can talk at the moment. Such is the effort that they're putting in. And there's riders all over this mountain, Sean. Yes, we can see they're just uh, out the rear door. 
uh, ones, two, as we can see, uh, the Belkin rider there, uh, Robert Guessing, uh, losing contact. And as we can here see, we Froome go. goes. Froome does, he picks it up, says, uh, thank you. I'll take it on from here, and it's Froome and Contador that's distancing everybody, and Valverde and Rodriguez can't stay with him, and has been blown out, and Chris Froome is in a good place. How good? Stage winning good? Well, still a lot to go, and Rodriguez and Valverde can come back. He's going to get no help from Contador. Might they form a minor alliance here, Sean? Well, I think uh, if Contador uh, is feeling okay, he will take you know, a little bit of a uh, pulling on the front. But for the moment, we're a long ways out. I think Contador will play safe. Uh, and when you look at the general classification, Contador has the advantage. He has 120 over Froome, so uh, you know he doesn't have to commit at the moment. He just have to mark him. And marking him is what he's doing. And there goes Valverde, just ahead of Rodriguez, taking up the challenge. A long, grinding mountain road. It's exactly what Froome and Contador love. It's not the sort of explosive terrain where Rodriguez and Valverde thrive. This is Aru bridging over to them as well. They say the cream will rise to the top, Sean, and we've got the top five contenders going at it right now, albeit that Alessandro De Marchi still has a gap of 34 seconds. Aru's coming back to Valverde and Rodriguez. Meanwhile, it's Froome versus Contador, a battle we've been talking about all year, and it's happening now before our very eyes. Yes, and we go through the four kilometers to go, we can see uh, Chris Froome there. He seems to be fixing his earpiece, uh, so maybe he just wants to have a contact with the uh, team car, the director sportive, but it's Froome who's doing Doing all the work here, Contador, happy to follow for the moment, but still we've just went through the four kilometres, so the difficult part has still to come. 34 seconds holds Alessandro De Marchi. haven't seen much of him because the GC boys, as always, are fighting each other. There is Aru, fifth in the general classification, just about to nudge up towards Alejandro Valverde, who I think is the man who's going to be most hurt if these gaps stick as they stand right now. Second to Contador, 31 seconds adrift coming into today, and he is with Rodriguez. We remind you on exactly the same time as Chris Froome coming into today. It's formed into a trio of chasers right now. Now, no disrespect to Alessandro De Marchi, who might still just cling on to take the day stage. 28 seconds is the gap he holds on the chasers, who are this two, this pairing. And what a pairing it is. Oh, Froome and Bertie. I'm loving this, Sean. Yes, and uh, it's still Froome who was just walking away at it. And uh, Contador, happy to uh, follow for the moment, having a look around there to see where the other uh, favourites are. And uh, in general classification, of course, if the two, uh, and more so from, if he can take an advantage of 50 seconds about uh, from Rodrigue, uh, from Valverde, well, then he could move into second place in general classification. But it's we're a long ways to go. We are. 3.3 kilometres. Only 11 seconds now is the advantage that Alessandro De Marchi holds. And it's Valverde that finds a little bit of pace, and he drags Rodriguez up this mountain. And there it is. With in sight of uh, the man who's been up for much of the day, Alessandro De Marchi, winner of stage seven, checks over his shoulder, realizes that the two main men for much of this season, we've been talking about them, and you've got it right now. It's toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff, and it's Chris Froome versus Alberto Contador. We haven't seen this since stage two of the Dauphiné, and they're taking pieces and big looks out of each other at the moment. What can Aru do? He's just relaying back on, just trying to get back to Balverde and Rodriguez, who are behind this now trio. I don't know whether demarkey has got what it takes to stay with these boys. It's their kind of playground, Sean, and they're having fun, albeit through gritted teeth. Yes, well... Uh... It's uh, normal that everybody is uh, really on the limit here with the gradient, uh, you know, as uh, that's 10%, uh, 12%, and uh, with the pace and what we've been through all day, everybody is gritting their teeth, but uh, the ones who are that little bit more left, and it looks like uh, Chris Froome is the man, and, uh, you know, they really set out from Team Sky today. They took it up earlier. He is the one who is uh, really pushing on here. Contador, happy to follow. De Marchi, he's only there for, I think, uh, a short time. He cannot you know, when it goes uh, up a bit more, he will start to lose contact. Well, uh, no elbow flicked out from Chris Froome. His elbows are out there permanently. He's not asking for assistance. He was from his team. He burnt them one by one. Now, can Valverde and Rodriguez get back into this? Aru's fighting for his podium ambitions as well. 
They've tried, Sean, but they can't respond to what Froome is doing on the road right now. It's well, amazing. Well, they're doing everything uh, um, in their power to limit the loss and uh, just keep on working it. That's what you've got to do. And we can see Valverde, that's what he's doing. You know, work too close to your 100%, but just don't go over that. Otherwise, with the distance they have to the finish, you can just blow up totally. And, uh, you know, they can see the guys out in front, but uh, the, the advantage, it looks like it's growing out very slowly for Froome and Valverde and Contador. For Alberto Contador, the man he fears most is Chris Froome and so he's going to lean on him right now. I can't see them sharing this duty because, frankly, this gap, 26 seconds, is a huge one. That's a country mile in this sort of company, and Froome still does the work for Contador. Contador will want the stage victory here. I don't think there's going to be any discussion between the two of them. They have great respect for each other off the bike, but they are ultimate gladiators and competitors when they're on it, and Froome goes on the attack. Froome picks it up yet again, tries to inject a bit more pace, and still Contador stays with him as a passenger. Looks, and finally, for the first time, Froome appears to beckon Contador to do a little bit of work, and he comes through on the inside. This benefits the pair of them, don't forget, and he will still hold that advantage, Contador, but he won't want to hand over any gifts at the line, and believe me, he'll be racing for the stage win. He's built up an advantage, and so he has the right to sit here on Chris Froome wheel and he's using that free pass at the moment Sean. Yes well uh, in the general classification of course he has that advantage over Froome 120 going into the stage today and uh, you know he is uh, just going to follow uh, Chris Froome for the moment but guaranteed in the end uh, for the uh, stage victory Contador is not going to give any presence here with the time bonification going he is going to you know take advantage and this stage it goes all the way up to the finish at a very steep gradient, you know, 11.5%. It does ease off in the very final to 8%, but, you know, Contador is getting the free ride for the moment. He certainly is. 39 seconds, though, is uh, the gap between Chris Froome and Valverde, who's in second place. The gap between the pair of them at the top of the day was around about 50 seconds. He'll be looking for that. Chris Froome will also, of course, have uh, the advantage of taking a bonus at the line. Is there any conversation? I don't think there's a word passing between them. They both know what job they've got to do and are both accepting their roles within this battle for the top. 1,900 metres to go. We said there might be some big gaps open up amongst the GC contenders, and that's what we're seeing. And it's a mini alliance that's being drawn between these two. Still, Contador doesn't help out, but I don't think Froome's expecting him to do so. This is about just making himself the number one contender, Chris Froome, to Alberto Contador, the jersey that he is wearing. It's a huge, huge thing that's on offer, don't forget, today. It's the last Grand Tour of the season. And finally, we've got the battle we've all been waiting for on this kind of stage, Sean. Yes, uh, we're definitely getting the battle between the, you know, the two big favourites going into this race. You could say that. And uh, uh, you know, uh, in the earlier days, it looked like that Chris Froome was quite a bit under his best, but uh, he's back there, and uh, he's the one who is putting all the general classification men under difficulty. The question is now, is Contador just waiting or is he also on the limit here trying to stay with uh, Chris Froome? And we can see here, he looks to be comfortable enough at the moment and the advantage 41 seconds back to Valverde, Rodriguez and Aru. So it looks like uh, Chris Froome, if he can keep it going in the final 1.5 kilometres, he could be going into second place in general classification. Wow, is Alberto Contador losing his cool? Well, his initials are AC. Can he possibly turn it on right now? We'll see. Chris Froome rocks and rolls. Now, when he looks up the road like this, we've seen this in the past, this is usually a precursor to an attack. He has another big drink of the vision of the horizon. Will he feast himself upon it? We're going to find out. 1.3 kilometers to go, the Flamme Rouge beckons, and these guys, it's damage limitation for Rodriguez and Valverde. I've just got a feeling that Alberto Contador is going to take this stage. He wants the bonus. He wants as much advantage as he possibly could get. Froome knows that, and so he's got little option but to ride on and attack if he's possibly got anything left. We said this man's powers of uh, retrieval are amazing. He's right back at his very best, Sean, on a crucial day in this welter. Yes, well, back at the right moment. Uh, maybe a 
a little bit too late uh, because uh, the uh, the past days there was opportunities there but certainly he's back and uh, now the question is has he got something more left in the tank as we come close to the kilometre to go with Con uh, with Contador just uh, waiting but is Contador good enough to be able to challenge him for the stage victory we will see very quickly well, the uh, idiots are getting in the way of what is an amazing contest, and I just hope they don't have a, an untoward impact. Chris Froome is here. Now, this becomes a sprint, let's remind you, very, very soon. Froome's still fiddling with his radio, and he needs to rip that out and just do his own thing, which has been magnificent so far today. Contador would love a stage win. He's got a great chance of doing that. If he thinks he's got uh, the best chance of going on to take this title, he needs a stage win to underscore the credential. Spinning it up goes Chris Froome. Is he going to be beaten on this day by Contador? Mano a mano, the pair of them. This is magnificent. This is what everybody wanted. 44 seconds between themselves. Valverde, Rodriguez and Aru. It's a comfortable gap and Contador goes. He's heading for stage victory here and Froome can't respond this time by and he's running out of meters. This is the stage that Contador's been looking for. He's going to take this. He's going to take a 10 second bonus as well. There can be no gifts at this level. Don't feel sorry for Chris Froome. He's done an amazing job but Contador intends to win this Grand Tour. He intended to win the Tour de France. He drew a line in the sand you might have said before that and maybe thought he'd taken a stumble. Well, injury has been cast aside. It's been thrown down the mountain here by this man. There he is, Alberto Contador is heading for a stage win and he's heading for an enormous margin when it comes to this general ranking. He's in the last 450 metres now. There's Chris Froome. I hope he doesn't fade because you can bet your boots that Rodriguez and Valverde have laid it up behind trying to limit the damage. It's about Contador today. It's about what many believe is the champion in waiting. He started off, don't forget, this tour as a 12 to 1 outsider amongst the big names. You can't put money on him right now. Such is his favourite status. And I'm not surprised, Sean. Here he comes. He's in his pomp. Yes, certainly uh, impressive. Uh, and uh, the question always was when he was uh, following Chris Froome, was he uh, just on the limit or had he something left in the tank? And here we are. You know, he was just waiting to the point uh, that he was going to put in the attack. And... Uh, going to you know, take a, a stage victory and as we as we talked about many times the big tour the queen stage the race leader always want to impose on that stage this is the day they badged up for glory chris froome has as well i wouldn't be surprised if this gap narrows slightly because froome is amazing at uh, pulling it out of the bag it's contador that's going to take the day though king of the mountain king of the hill king of the heap and what a pile of talent it is that he's just shoveled away. Fantastic, Alberto Contador. And here's the clock, 10 second bonus as well for him, don't forget. Chris Froome is gonna sail in and chapeau to Froome and the entire Sky team. What an effort that was. 14 seconds he gives away to Alberto Contador, but picks up six seconds of bonus as well. Who is gonna be next? It's Valverde. Rodriguez struggling to stay with him. This is a fine push by Valverde. He's an explosive character, an explosive rider. 